uh yeah so let's just get straight into it because as always there's a lot of pins to show you um a lot of these i had to use my stackery address um to be able to use like a us address and that's how i got them sent to me um if you want to know more about stackery um i did a bath and bodyworks haul and i go in a little bit more about stackery basically it's like a p.o box service in america they take all your parcels and then they can ship them to you in the uk so if there's somewhere that doesn't ship to the uk which a lot of places aren't doing at the moment especially pin creators because of a supposed new tax um law or scheme um which a lot of pin people can't really get their heads around at the moment um with like registering tax and things like that so yes let's get started shall we should we start with the fantasy pins because there's a little less of those the first one is one that i'm super excited to put on my pin board this is a yo-yo pop um so i think it's yo-yo's alley she's quite a big pin creator um, and very famous for her yo-yo pops so I did purchase this one off her if you do live in the UK and there's something you like reach out to her because um, she does do sort of earlier pre-sales in a way for UK people which is amazing so this is LE50 and it is a glorious steamboat willy pin I remember when they first put out like the pre-sales for this and I was like I'm gonna need that one day it's super big as you can see and I just think it's such a fun pin I love how Mickey or Steamboat Willie looks and I don't know if you can tell but there is glitter in those flowers it's just such a pretty unique pin that I am very excited to put in my Steamboat Willie little collection next one is um, a new creator that I bought from this is Bad Wolf Pins um, this is an LE50 and they're currently doing um, series like the profile series uh, that they did authentically with Disney so he's done Pocahontas series and now doing a Peter Pan I think um, I did purchase this it was sort of like um, a mystery pre-sale um, I did hope that it was going to be Miko but it wasn't but it is a profile of Percy the dog and I don't actually have that many well I don't think I've got any individual pins of Percy so I'm going to see how this looks on my pin board I do think it could be cute to add to my Pocahontas pin board um, there is a Miko version of this as well, which I wasn't overly keen on. Um, but yes, so I did get that one, but it's sort of a not sure yet until I put it on my pin board whether I'm going to keep it or whether I'll put it up for trade. And then the last uh, Disney inspired one is this one. I think it's by Who's It's and What's It's Pins. This took quite a while to get to me and there was uh, some complications with this pin. There were two variants of this and this variant that I chose um, actually had the most problems with it um, but we were able to work it out and um, even though it's got like minor flaws um, on the whole this is one of the only pins that came out of that set that looked good um, so it is this frozen inspired pin so you've got the sisters as children and then they've got their mother there there is like some snowflakes and then you've got this uh, sort of northern lights effect so there was this design um, which I think it was LE25 and then there I think there was an LE50 one I think and it had the song that she sings um, which is actually um, the back stamp on the back as well there's one where I don't collect a ton of frozen pins but i thought this was really really pretty um but it might not be one that i keep in my collection forever those are the disney inspired ones we then have quite a few harry potter inspired ones this month so uh this is let's start with these two so these are by black wonder shop which i bought some little aristocats ones quite a while ago uh so i got this one this is the welcome to hogwarts letter so it's a pink little pastel letter with some glitter on the wings and i love pastel pins so that was right up my alley and then you have this little bertie's box uh, pin as well so I'm definitely gonna need to expand or sort out my Harry Potter board because at the moment it's pretty full um just 
full of pins so yes those are those two that i purchased so if you saw my last video i think it was in that one that i showed the uh kelly lou jumpers she did uh wizard inspired jumpers i think she's bringing out another set but they're only going to be available on patreon um and this was the one that i wanted so it was um the happy birthday jumper for this one this is the honey jukes jumper so i'm very excited to have uh sort of what i call the staff members jumpers i've got the purple weasley's one i've got the purple night bus one and now i've got the honey jukes one so i don't think i want to collect any more of these jumpers um but probably when i see a pic there'll probably be something on her second wave of jumpers that i end up liking so yes i don't think they've got any more of these she may have a couple b grade ones if you want to reach out to her um but yeah that's her magical knit series and then the rest are from mad unicorn which i just love their pins um so this first one is the cupid crystals and i had my eye on this for a while so it says cupid crystals on it and then the little tag says wonder witch uh, so i just think it's so cute again it's that pastel element to it it's got glitter in it it's got a little gem in it I just think it was super fun. I did have a uh, discount code, I think, for this one um, because I am a Patreon member, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. So I got that. I then bit the bullet and got these two. So this one, again, I've been seeing on for a while. This is the Charity Snow Globe pin. So I believe the proceeds of this pin go to a charity. Again, it's, it's fun. It's pastel. I do love, like, that wintry element. I've got a couple, like, wintry yule ball pins um so i got that one and then the other one i got which may or may not stay in my collection but is very cute nonetheless this is the valentine's day puff pin uh so it's a little uh puff me is it puff me pig i want to say hufflepuff but that's definitely not it um and she's cute and like valentine's-esque and she uh, matches one of the beans that Mad Unicorn came out with. Um, they have a couple of different varieties of different patterns and things for this puff. So I got that one. I then bit the bullet and got this Mad Unicorn set. I bought two sets. So I got the two, if I can show you, I got the two, um, what are they, Patronus sets. Um, I have uh, traded some and I've still got some for trade. So if you are interested reach out to me on instagram that's the best place so these are tiny little beans and this has started my love for beans which is scary um okay so we have the little pink hair which you could say is either uh, luna or you could say um is tonks um the thestral i've already sold you then have the otter which is hermione i do have the horse uh that is for trade uh you've got the stag so that's obviously harry potter you then have the wolf, which is obviously Lupin, who I love. You've got the swan, which again is up for trade or sell. And the phoenix, which is up for trade or sell. The cat, which is, um, you could say that is either, um, well, that would be uh, McGonagall. And then you've got the little terrier, which is Ron. So really cute. As you can see, I've sort of kept the most pastel ones. And then like... Obviously, I had to keep the Potter one and the Lupin one. So I got those. And then finally, what came in this month was my first Patreon pin. So I joined in January for the December cutoff. Uh, so I received the, Janu the December pin, I think, or the January pin. This might have been the January pin. Um, and that was the Tonks pin. So it was really great. Um, I um, subscribed for the International uh, Bean and Wand pin. So every month you get a wand and you can get the additional um, bean that matches as well. Uh, so I did do that. Uh, so this is the Tonks one and I think it's super cute. So you've got her scarf, you've got uh, her Patronus and... Um, you could either say it's her turning into a wolf because her Patronus changes or you could say it's her chasing after Syria, um, Lupin, sorry. You've got her Hufflepuff scarf, you've got her identity card because she's an aura um, and her little pig nose and the weird sisters record and then the matching bean um, was decided because you can have a lot of input, they do a lot of polls. Um, with the design so you get an input in it um, but the bean that we chose was a little teddy pin for her and Lupin's little baby 
very cute excited to put this on my board um and yeah so that was my patreon pin and that concludes i think all of the um fantasy pins i'm next going to move on to universal studios now i don't necessarily collect a lot of universal studios pins aside from um i mean i've got a couple i've bought in the past and a, a couple harry potter ones but i discovered that they did lucy tribute pins now i know they definitely had it in the orlando one i'm not sure if they had it in hollywood they probably did at some point um they no longer have it anymore um but they had a lucy tribute which was a tribute to the famous lucille ball of i love lucy if you know me you've stuck around for a while i absolutely love i love lucy and lucille ball i just it's like my comfort tv show and they had a whole tribute area like a, a museum as such they had artifacts in there you could play a little quiz and then at one point it was attached onto a shop the shop aspect of it got smaller and smaller hello kitty took it over and now i think the whole thing the museum's gone the whole thing i think is hello kitty dedicated which breaks my heart um but i found these pins on ebay i think these were all from the same seller there was one pin that i did end up buying and then the person couldn't find it and had to refund me which i was gutted about um so i'm on the hunt to see if there's any more of these out there but let's show you um so this is the first one it says i love lucy universal studios and so that was sort of the little emblem i guess that they had on the signs um i was really lucky that i managed to visit it for about three years before they took it away and then you've got this little flower that sort of circulates behind there so it's like a triple pin on pin really cool the next one is um just like the picture of the poster or like the the frame they had outside and then this one is ricky ricardo's club babaloo again this is like pin on pin so i'm super excited to add these to my i love lucy collection because i don't really have many lucy pins and then this one is definitely my favorite and this was the one that i missed out on was a different version of this it had a different clip um but i would so love to see if there's other versions of this out there this was only 5 99 back in the day can you believe it it is this amazing i love lucy retro tv and inside you've got a picture of the infamous chocolate scene where they're at the factory i mean this has to be one of my favorite pins ever just has to be um so yeah and i think the the one i missed out on it had more of a blue tv and it had um ethel and lucy dressed as aliens uh so yes sad i didn't couldn't get my hands on that one i was like if you ever find it reach out to me again um but i think that one might have been long gone okay let's move on to pins that are authentic and disney so the first ones and the ones that have probably been sat the longest are these these are from shanghai resort i bought them off someone on instagram they've come directly from the park um so let me show you as soon as i saw these pins were released i was like i am gonna need those um for my collection so let me head out there's a couple of stickers they included as well which is really nice so they've brought out this whole series of cutie space pins and i fell in love with the whole thing like i want everything not even just the pins uh so this was 79 yen which i'm not quite sure what that is um but this was a two pin set so you've got the little moon there with the little sleepy hat and then you've got cutie mickey and minnie in this really glittery spaceship and the actual fire actually moves how cute is that i collect space pins space mountain pins mission space anything like that so these will go perfectly and then of course i had to get the space cute booster set and this was 199 yen if i can remember i'll put a little annotation what that is in dollars so this is a four pin set these are hefty chunky pins so that's what it looks like you have donald catching some stars so you've then got mickey putting the flag in the moon you've got minnie just chilling on this crescent moon and then you've got a really cute looking pluto a bit confused hanging on to the the little rocket which has a little bone on it and then you may see this picture here of chippendale um i did buy this one separately from someone else um but they do have a chippendale pin so no worries there um this is what it looks like and they are basically circling a massive acorn how cute is that and dale actually 
moves up and down which is cute so they are going to look amazing all together i cannot wait to put those on my space board and like i said there's a couple other pins in that set i think just maybe one or two that i'd like to get and they've got like a necklace and a bracelet like i'm obsessed with it all and the other thing i got from that seller was this pin this is the 50th anniversary of the aristocats um this is an ellie of 600 um, and it's 135 Hong Kong dollars and that is what it looks like really really pretty you've even got rock fort up in the zero there uh, so yeah I knew that I wanted to get that and that is a dangle pin as well so moving on I was able to trade for this one this is uh, the 2020 happy Hanukkah pin which I've been uh, waiting for for ages because I knew that they'd go down in price um, even possibly below value because Hanukkah pins always do you know they're not as popular as Christmas pins um this was Winnie the Pooh and I was so glad that I was able to trade for it that is what it looks like really cute you've got all the friends there except for Tigger really but you don't often see Kanga and Roo so that was pretty cute so I'm going to add that to my little Hanukkah banner that I have we then have these two pins which I got in a live sale these are by uh, Twins Toys and Things. You can find them on Instagram. Uh, so I got these. They had like a couple of like older style pins. So I was really excited for that. So the first one is this one. This is a Tomorrowland poster. And I'm not quite sure if this was an actual attraction. It says Space Station X1. Look into the future. See America from outer space. But as you can tell, I had to get it for my space collection. So I got that one and then I got the then and now attractions pin. This came in its on its original card as well, which was cool. Um, how much was this originally? It just says blue, so that's not helpful. Uh, but this is the Mission Space one. So if you've seen a couple of my past videos, I've been collecting these of some of my favorite attractions. So you've got Mission Space and then it turns around. And before that, it was the Horizons. So yeah. That is that pin and shall we show you the other then and now pin i got which was the soaring one which is so cool and you can even see like the little people's feet dangling like on the ride uh these are limited edition of a thousand and then when you turn it around it is the uh kitchen cabaret so i don't really remember these rides beforehand I obviously just remember them now they may have been around when i was a child um i just cannot remember them to my actual memory so that was those continuing with the space theme i got these two these are the two tiny kingdom pins that i've been wanting to add to my space collection so you've got the space mountain and then you've got mickey in a little astronaut uh helmet there is a donald duck version as well of this which I may get one day, but for now, I'm happy with Mickey. Again, some live sale pins. I got this one, which says, I love my Disney dog. This came in a booster pack, part of their cats and dogs things they've been doing this year. Um, if you don't know, I've got a dog called Baloo, and he has a couple of pins that I've bought that have actual Baloo written on them, or Baloo from the Jungle Book. And I'm going to do sort of like part pin board, part photo of him. So this is going to add to that. This month... We are heavy on the Stella Lou front. Um, in last month's video, you saw that um, I was collecting these ones. This was another one I got this month. This is the Duffy one. Um, I'm very nearly complete. I just need uh, the cat from this series. Um, but the, the Stella Lou version of this seriously it has evoked something in me so now i love stella lou and i sort of call it baloo's little collection because he is obsessed with this bunny rabbit toy whenever we see like a bunny rabbit we get it for him we call it his buns and you know he's obsessed so i've all these stella lou pins i'm saying are his and i want to get a really nice like pastel board for them uh but i got this one so this i think came as part of a set um it came out this year or last year i believe i keep thinking we're still in 2020 i think because we're still in lockdown but this is what it looks like it is a cute um i'm not sure if it's japanese or chinese um little pin and she's on a little lily pad stella lou's thing is that she is a friend of duffy uh she wants to be a ballet dancer her thing is to you know go for your dreams and that sort of thing so very cute and then i got this one in another sale 
um, and she's just holding this little heart. Again, I think that was part of a, um, not like a mystery pack, but like part of a set. So I got that one. Um, let's go for these two next, more Stella Lou. <laughs> I managed to trade for these with a member from the Pinsane Pins team. Um, if you go on their Instagram every Thursday, you are able to trade with them. Uh, they put them in these really cute heart-shaped bubble wrap. I'm only just noticing that's super cute. But I was able for, to trade for these, which I was super pleased about. So the first one is celebrating uh, the 13th anniversary um, of Hong Kong, I believe. It says 13th anniversary, fantastic celebration. It's pin on pin, and she's holding a little paintbrush there. She's got a little flower crown in. And it's super pretty, you know. I think I just love the pastel aesthetic of Stella Lou. And then this one, I really, I really like it when she sat down. Um, this one has little ballet slippers next to it. So I showed these to Blue when they came, and he was like sniffing them all. So in my mind, he loves them. We're gonna take a little bit of a Stella Lou break. Um, the next pin is this one. So this is a Hannah Montana pin that will be going on my like vintage Disney Channel board. Uh, this is a limited edition of a thousand. It came out in 2009 for the opening of the Hannah Montana movie. So yes, I got that one. Uh, next, so I got this one. This is from Artland and I haven't bought Artland pins for a while. I try to be really selective with what I buy from them because they can be quite pricey, but they are LE 250. And actually they're a really great way of us in the UK getting some Ellie edition pins and having, you know, these good pins to be able to trade um, because they're not as easily accessible to buy in other countries. Um, I'll leave it on the card actually. So this is the Aristocats one. This is the one that sold out the quickest. I did buy two and I've already sold one. Um, but it's part of like a brothers and sisters uh, little set they did. And I just thought it was really cute. It's a pose I've never seen them in before. And yeah, I can't wait to add that onto my board. Sticking with Aristocats, uh, we have this one. I got this on eBay and it was a really good price. Um, let's take out the packaging so you can see it a little bit better. This is part of the Disney Employee Center set they did. These are Ellie of 250. And this is the O'Malley set. Um, well, not O'Malley set, but it's the Aristocat set, and this is the O'Malley pin, should I say. So each one has one of the cats or kittens, and then their name, and there's something about them in the first letter of their name. So in this one, you've got uh, Duchess and O'Malley sat on the rooftop looking at the Eiffel Tower and the moon. And yeah, so I purchased this one. Like I said, it was at least half price for what I've normally seen it, so that's why I picked it up. Um, obviously Marie is the hardest to find um, but yeah that started my little collection to hopefully get all of those one day we then have a few Carousel of Progress pins so I'm still waiting on a few from my friend in America but these are the ones that I sent to my stackery and were able to get this week so this is a WDI pin this is a limited edition pin of 300 and this is the poster pin of the Carousel of Progress um, from Tomorrowland. So it's sort of the OG poster. The man is actually pin on pin, which I didn't realise until I got it. Uh, this is actually, I don't know if you can see, it's starting to lift up. So it needs a tiny little bit of glue under there at some point. Um, but yes, so we are one step closer to being a completist. And then the other one I got is this one. This is the 50th anniversary of the New York World's Fair. Talks a little bit about um, this series and the Carousel of Progress. And that is what that pin looks like. So it's again, just another take on that poster. And yeah, so I think um, I've obviously got the ones to come from my friend, but I am two away from being a completist, which is very exciting. And then I got these. So these aren't pins, but these are Sorcerers of the Kingdom, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. I never played this, um, but I sort of knew they were around. They were cards that you could collect. Um, they no longer do these anymore. But they sort of interacted with bits in Magic Kingdom. Um, obviously, there was one card that I wanted the most, which is this one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it, it came with this one. And this is the Tiki Rooms for Crawling Birds, or Cawing Birds. 
so I could possibly trade this at some point for something else but the one I really wanted to go my Carousel of Progress frame was this one this is Rover's Christmas Carousel of Progress so you've got Rover there he's in his little bow tie he's got those like VR glasses on you've got the sun and then you've got um is his name John in the background there and yes it's a Christmas theme but uh I have to get that to put in my little shadow box there so I got those and then finally we have these pins uh so these are all from the same seller this is all from um Molly and Joe, who run Streaming the Magic on Facebook and every Saturday night, I think it starts at 10 UK time, um, they do a live sale and some of these I've had since December or have purchased since December but they've held onto the pins so you know I can maximise on postage. So let's go through them with you. The first one is a Mission Space first anniversary pin. So again this is going on my space board. We then have the Olu Mel pin that goes with those like Harvest series. And then we have this cute one of Stella Lou in a teacup. They did many different characters, not just the Duffy ones in those teacups. We then have this one. This is from uh, a Everest set, but I just thought Minnie looked so cute in her little expedition outfit. We then have this one, which has been out for ages and I've just never bitten the bullet and got. This is the Ariel and Eric end scene. Um, they did a couple different versions of um, depictions from the movie. There's also a black and white one that goes with this. Uh, the, we then have this, uh, this one's still on the card. This one, which is, um, it says T Duffy's Tea Time. And she's like ready for a picnic and then this back bit spins as well and then finally oh i'm dropping pin bags we have this one she is dancing in the rain there and then we have her on her little roller skates so that is all of my pins um these are always half an hour videos i just can't help it um but yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing these pins this month let me know what sort of pins you collect down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys